Yo, what is up, my beautiful Black Me family? So, a couple of minutes after I submitted my deck for the YCS and Rally, I came up with those awesome new combos, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to play uh, to take this deck to the YCS because I already submitted my deck. I therefore took then this deck to um the side event where I played, where I tried to win a giant card, right? Like I did with the SP Little Knight, and I started four and oh. I played four matchups in a row where I completely dominated. I even killed a Snake Eyes player. I was able to break even a board like so stupid. <laughs> However, um, then round five, I played against this other guy, this other Snake Eyes player who just had the same hand like the guy I lost to in the round nine YCS, which is just a million hand traps. And then one, two starters that just played through everything. And yeah, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh, right? However, guys, I am so proud to show you this. No. <laughs> right. This looks really weird right now, right? This looks really weird. Like, the fuck, what, what the fuck is Zonda and Kunai doing here? Right? Like, I was the last guy who wanted to have Kunai or Zonda in my deck, okay? But, okay, first of all, why am I deciding to play those cards in my deck? Well, it is mainly because this little guy over here and this little guy over here, or big, bigger guy, oh no, both of them become now one car combos that just give you Kaluga, boom, like this. Like this. And not only that, it's always, it's also going to help you to play way better through hand traps. Okay, so I'm really, really happy. They are came up with this, and I know what you guys think right now. Okay, but what if we hard draw these? First of all, it's actually good to see those on your hand because sometimes I don't know if you guys had that situation before, but I did a lot. Uh, was where I bricked with Simoon and no other Blackwing names. If those two cards wouldn't be Blackwings, then I wouldn't really, I wouldn't play those cards. Okay, I would not play those cards, but. That actually give us consistency because sometimes we're lacking off enough black ring names on our hand. And this is where those cards are also going to come in clutch. Besides that, like I said, Pata becomes one card combo, guys. This is a dream coming true because I always was like, yo, Snake Eyes is actually nice because it had so many one card combos. The Diabelsa Engine, the Snake Eyes, the Ash, whatever, all one card combos. Like, or even Sprite. Sprite has so many one card combos. And yeah so many other decks have one card combos not only one like not only one simoon or whatever zuji was always uh, already like a kind of one card combo depending on what cards you play in the deck and now those two we have two additional one card combos bro okay i'm talking a lot i'm going to show you the combo in a minute um i just wanted to make clear that these look like bricks but trust me they are not really bricks but it look like bricks but they're not really so, therefore, stay cool. Besides, if we do have Kunai on our hand, it doesn't really matter because Zonda can also special summon from your hand a Black Ring Monster. So, this card on your hand is not a problem. And if you do have Zonda on our hand, it's also not really bad because we can banish him with Simoon, which is really nice. And besides that, we don't we don't really need those to go into our Kaliuga combo. Only if we like to have the one card combo. But they are still great to play through other interruptions. So, yeah, I'm talking a lot. Let's jump right into this. All right, are you guys ready? This is like a dream coming true, honestly, man. Okay, so here, normal summon Vada effect. And before you guys even start saying, yeah, what if it gets Ash? What if it gets Imperm? Get the fuck out of here. All right, so we're going here into Blackwing Dragon. What do we send to the graveyard? All we're sending to the graveyard is Zonda. Okay, now activate Zonda's effect to summon your brother Kunai. Use Kunai's effect to make. Uh, the black wing dragon become level five so that you can overlay these two and summon the brave streaks now activate brave streaks effect to get this rank up to your hand activate the rank up to summon the asna falcon now activate um asna falcon's effect to special summon zephyros okay, it's really important to summon zephyros here because if you do not summon zephyros this is not going to going to work now, link these two away to summon your Y tricks. Chain to um your Asna Falcon. Okay, so you kind of also chain block here, which is really nice. 
summon the ultimate falcon and boom you're gonna get Zudri with Y strict okay this is really important to summon Zudri here i'll tell you in a second why and now in the new chain Y strict will trigger because as a falcon activates its effect and we are going to get the rank up next up activate ultimate falcon's effect so that your opponent cannot do anything anymore at the until the end of this phase and then this is the final piece which also gives you a lot of uh, like a really good follow-up for the grind game so that you can otk next turn is use Sephiroth's effect in the graveyard to bounce back your zudri so it's crazy because we started with vata and we ended up on a board with zudri on our head that, isn't that funny <laughs> We are going so much in plus with this. And now we're going to link all of these away to summon our uh, Darkness Meldering. I know it sucks to have uh, send away the Ultimate Falcon. I understand that. If you do have like other extenders, you can use those. But for the one card combo, on, on, unfortunately, we have to get rid of the Ultimate Falcon. But it's fine. Because we're still winning. Now you can use the Darkness Meldering's effect. Summon the Ultimate Falcon and boom. You got you yourself a Kali Yuga. Now if you're wondering, okay, how do we OTK next turn? Well, really simple. Here, we can just add Shamal. Activate Shamal's effect. Now with Darkness Meldring, we can special summon Vata from the graveyard. We can also special summon like anything else. Now use these two. Boom, to go into a Borea Storm. Use Borea Storm, chain 1, chain 2, Black Feather Whirlwind, and chain 3, Shamal, if you want, want to, to get... Again, Zuji back to your hand. Boom. Some Zonda and sent with Black, uh, with Boreal Storm level 4 monster. So, which, this is also really nice because we can now use Zonda's effect to, oh, sorry. Um, because w once Zonda gets special summoned, we can use his effect to bounce one of our opponent's monsters back to his hand. So, if, if he has, like, I don't know. Too many monsters on the field where we cannot OTK well enough or whatever, just bounce them all back. However, use these two, boom, full armor master, then boom, a soul dragon. Now you can use Zonda's effect again to summon like a Simoon if you want to. And don't forget, the rank up is also a cool follow up to have to summon a Brave Six. And oh, there we go. <laughs> Oops, yeah, that was a little bit too quick, too fast, but isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I've already, already played this, this and also went to the side events with this. And let me tell you one thing, guys. Ever since I came up with this, I've been playing consistently through two to three hand traps the whole time, bro. It is just insane. Even when I play against my friends that know exactly what I'm doing. Even they are struggling right now to hand trap me. And that is just beautiful. That is just so beautiful. And yeah, man, I'm really, really happy that I came up with this because we were lacking of a lot of one car combos and all that. And it's just, I'm really, really happy, really, really happy. And it's just, I used to be a really big, not hater, but I thought the Kaluga time was gone. And I didn't even know that Kaluga wasn't even, like, that wasn't even his final form yet, guys. <laughs> all right, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this um stay tuned because i'm going to show you more ways to play now around hand traps and how bricky hands or like bad hands in the past are now full combo and yeah so <laughs> stay tuned guys i love you bye bye